In this video, I'm going to show you how to add mods to your Eternos Minecraft server using the Forge Launcher. So the first thing you want to do is go to Eternos.org and sign into your account and then select the server you want to use. Once you're on this page, we're going to scroll down and the first thing we're going to be changing is the software because it's currently on vanilla. So click on change. Then under software Java edition, we're going to scroll down until we see Forge at the bottom and we're going to go ahead and select it. Now I'm going to run Forge on 1.20.4, so I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to click on Install in the top right corner here. Once it's finished, you should get a green check mark indicating it's been loaded, and then you'll see on the left sidebar we now have a mods folder. So I'm going to select it. Now here's where you can find mods to add to your server, or you can search for them. We're going to be adding Journey Map to our server though. So I'm going to click on it. Then under versions, journey map 1.20.4, I'm going to click this green download button and it should only take a second to load up. And we got the green check mark. So now we're going to go to the left sidebar and go to options. Now under options, we're going to scroll down under server properties and you want to ensure that it's cracked because if it's not, it won't work at all. So make sure this is turned on and you can customize the rest of your server with any of these options here. So once you're finished changing these settings, we're going to go to server on the left sidebar and we're going to leave this open while we go to Google. Then go ahead and type in Java downloads and scroll down and select Java downloads for all operating systems. Now for Forge, which is the mod launcher, you want to be running the latest version of Java, which in this video is version 8. Once you've downloaded and installed the latest version of Java, go back to Google and we're going to type in Forge Minecraft and search. Then we're going to select Forge Files. Then if you take a look to the left sidebar, you can see the Minecraft versions. So since in this video I'm running 1.20.4, I'm going to select that. Now we're going to go ahead and click on Installer, which is going to bring us to this next page here. And there is a countdown in the top right corner. And once it's finished, we're going to click on the Skip button, which is going to start the download right here. Once it's finished downloading, I'm going to select Show in Folder. And if you ever lose it, it'll just be under your downloads. And then I'm going to minimize the web browser. So I'm going to click and drag Forge onto the desktop and then I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and I'm going to go open with Java Platform SE Binary. Now this should open the Forge installer and then you can go ahead and press OK. Now once Forge is finished installing you can press OK. Then go back to Google and we're going to type in Curse Forge and this is where we're going to download the mods. So click on Curse Forge and that'll bring you to the home menu and then we're going to select Minecraft. Then I'm going to go to View All. Then I'm going to scroll down and taking a look at the left sidebar, I'm going to select Mods if it's not already selected. And under Mod Loaders, I'm going to select Forge. And for game version, since I'm running 1.20.4, I'm going to select that. Now I'm going to scroll up to the top and since we downloaded Journey Map on our server, I'm going to type that in now. Then I'm going to search for it. So if I scroll down, it should be here and here's journey map. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. Then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to files. Now under filter by, I'm going to change this to 1.20.4 and for the mod loaders, I'm going to go to forge. So I'm going to be downloading the top one. So I'm going to go to the three dots, which is more options. And then I'm going to go to download file. Now that's going to bring you to another page where you have to wait a couple of seconds and then your download should begin in the top right corner, which it has. So we're going to wait for this to finish. Now that it's finished, I'm going to go to show in folder and I'm going to minimize the web browser and we're going to click and drag on the mod and I'm going to put it on the desktop. Now press the Windows key and R on your keyboard, which will bring up the run application. And what we're going to type in is percentage sign app data percentage sign and then press OK. Now you want to look for the dot Minecraft folder and it should be near the top. So we're going to open this up. Then we're going to look for the mods folder, which it's right here. And then I'm going to click and drag the mod that we've downloaded into this folder. Once you've finished adding the mods to your mods folder, you can go ahead and come back to this window and press start. Now your server should take a few minutes to boot up. And in the meantime, I recommend you copy your address here so we can connect to it. And you can go ahead and open up your Minecraft launcher. 
Once the Minecraft launcher is open, be sure to click on Minecraft Java Edition, and under this drop-down arrow, you should see Forge and go ahead and select it. And if for some reason you don't, go up to Installations at the top beside Play, and make sure Modded is checked on, and it should appear here. Alright, so the server just went online, so I'm going to go to the Minecraft launcher, and under Forge, I'm going to press Play. Once your game boots up, we're going to be going to Multiplayer, and you can either go to Direct Connection, or you can go to Add server we're going to go to add server and we're going to give it a name real quick eternos mod server and we're going to press Control v on our keyboard to get this link now if you don't have it you can always go back here and just quickly copy it again then go back to your game and press Control v and add it to your server address and then i'm going to go to done now sometimes you may get weird errors like this where it says you can't connect but i'm going to try and connect anyways so we're now in the eterno server with mods as you can see in the top right corner we have a mod for our mini map and if I go to disconnect you'll see that the server is up and running so don't always trust those error codes try it anyways and it should work if you followed all these steps so hopefully this video was helpful like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one